What motivated ASD's founders, supporters, and teachers to begin this endeavor? In the early 1800s, many Americans were experiencing a religious revival known as the Second Great Awakening, which emphasized missionary work and evangelism. At the same time, reform movements such as temperance, abstaining from alcohol, abolition of slavery, and women's rights encouraged compassion and social action. Many of ASD's first teachers were graduates of Yale, whose president, Timothy Dwight, promoted a vision of a moral and virtuous society. To people like the Reverend Thomas Gallaudet, ASD's founder and first principal, deaf education was also a matter of justice and Christian evangelism. They believed that without a formal education, deaf people had no access to the knowledge of God, morality, and salvation, and could not fully participate in society. Laurent Clair, a deaf teacher, recruited from France by Gallaudet, desired to share the benefits of education he had received and to prove the intelligence and capability of deaf people. 